You know, it's kind of funny. The other day, uh, a comment on my YouTube channel was actually asking me to cover this game. And lo and behold, they decided to drop a, a gameplay trailer, which we'll get into in just a second here. For those of you that don't know what 9 to 5 is, it's supposed to be a 3v3v3 team tactics FPS. According to them, that's as much about outsmarting your rivals as it is about outgunning them. In each intense shift, three teams of three battle against each other to complete their client's objectives. How how each phase ends influences how the next one starts sounds interesting so you always need to be ready to adapt your approach okay customize your rig to suit the task at hand play to your strengths or choose to support your team even if you only have 15 minutes to spare nine to five gives you a chance to find your role in the team the idea is to have fun or die trying either way there's never a dull day at the office are you ready to make a killing so this actually sounds really interesting because 3v3v3 that's going to be very chaotic but i also have to wonder how big the maps are going to be or how linear or you know how much stuff you can actually do but i guess i'll find out once we get into that uh alpha build they have a alpha that you can sign up for uh as of the recording of this video i believe it's supposed to be on june 9th oh no you have to sign up before june 1st so you only have like a couple of days to get into it which i already signed up so yeah here's what they say about that it's time for the 9 to 5 closed alpha whoa we hope you enjoy this early version of 9 to 5 as much as we have developing it. Just to be clear on what to expect, this is very much a work in progress. Yeah, it kind of shows that. And the game has some rough edges that we continue to work on smoothing out. On the content side, environments and weapons are still getting visual polish and balancing. Some menus are incomplete and can be tricky to navigate. Crafting and progression systems are on their first iterations. Character visuals are rough and some of the visual language VFX needs work. All of these issues are priority for us they say what their focus is our focus in this alpha is on core gameplay so there is still a lot of optimization and refinement missing which will improve over time as we continue development this build has not been optimized for performance on lower end machines yet but the graphic settings can be adjusted so if you encounter performance issues we recommend scaling these back okay fair enough at least they're actually telling us continuing on we've done qa work and testing but no doubt some bugs have made it through if you encounter a problem please visit and they got a link here to some sort of support take a look at that real quick we will open a ticket system on june 4th in the meanwhile you can check the faqs for more information this is a closed alpha and we do ask you to sign a non-disclosure agreement so nda as well as confirm that you are 18 or over oh shit capturing and sharing videos screenshots or live streams of the game is not allowed at this early stage i mean you kind of already dropped the gameplay but okay unless it's a different game no as the game evolves and we are closer to completion we would be delighted to have you share visual materials of the game online however for now we ask you to kindly respect this rule should you want to join the alpha test for nine to five the full nda will be available on june 4th in game wait so people can keep signing up for it even though the deadline is already over i might be reading that wrong but anyways that may seem like a lot of disclaimers but we wanted to get this game into your hands as soon as possible and ultimately this will help us craft the best experience in the end if you have any feedback as you play please feel free to share your thoughts on the discord or twitter instagram and facebook we've had so much fun playing nine to five and we're excited to have more friends to play with hope you enjoy red hill games team so yeah i saw the alpha gameplay trailer and uh, you know i i don't know i'm not really sure what i expected but this kind of doesn't look like a game that i would actually play nor did it look that good i mean i mean i don't want to judge it right now but from what i saw it just didn't look that appealing to me i mean i think the whole reason i was even looking out for this game was because i heard that some of the people from arma was working on it and that i actually knew a youtuber buddy that i already played it so i'm just like oh okay i mean to be fair he said that he played it when it was like in its very early stages but i'm just looking at this gameplay trailer and it just doesn't look all that good at least from what i saw i mean i'm definitely still going to try it because looks can be deceiving but all i'm saying is that it doesn't look appealing to me at least i mean initially i thought that it was kind of like a troll given what they showed off at um e3 i think it was you know with the whole bunny hopping and what the fuck even was that trailer <laughs> like this gameplay trailer i thought that they were like making fun of ubisoft you know the way that they do like their shitty you know fake actors for gameplay i told you we got to the same place all right okay i'm on the roof guys 
come to the party. It's a rooftop party. Damn. That's what it kind of felt like to me. Like, I was kind of like, oh, they're going to drop this and actually pull out the real game. But no, that's all they showed the entire time. So I was just like, oh, okay. Well, looks can be deceiving. So I guess we'll see. But let's continue. So in this game, you can obviously place traps. Looks like they have a decent amount of uh, weapon variety here. The game seems to be running relatively well. I mean, with a small sandbox and small players in a, in a tiny map, I'd expect it to run well. This showed off a couple of guns that I don't think I've actually seen before. Like, I'm not sure if these are actually guns that are like real life guns or if they're like their own made in world guns or whatever you call it. Fictional guns. Because it looks like they got like some sort of Magnum and Uzi, uh, a 5.7, but they look slightly off. But yeah, moving on. I think it would actually be better if I actually knew what the objective was here. Like, is it just like TDM? I mean, at 52 seconds, he says, I have visual on it. And he looks at like some sort of package looking thing. And I think they said that they were looking for drugs. That might be like, I guess what the central point of this game is to like get drugs at some point. There's like some sort of thing at like the top of the screen where there's like these boxes that are like filling up. So does that mean that they completed certain objectives already? Is that what that's supposed to mean? Or is that just your teammates? Well, I mean, I think the teammates are on the right side there. Yeah, it actually shows the teammates on the right. So I'm assuming that's like objectives. It looks like each team has like some sort of objective because I look at the top there and it says collect the codes to hack the vault, which I'm assuming there's like a vault here that we're supposed to jack or something like i don't know is this kind of like payday but 3v3v3 they have like some sort of like injury system you could probably heal yourself at some point but it looks like there is some sort of health system and you can actually have gadgets it shows that you can place traps there's some sort of emp grenade and you can also disable traps it seems it looks like you could actually fight building to building and actually shoot from windows from across the way that's kind of cool throughout the video they follow different teams and i'm not sure what exactly they're actually supposed to do here like they have some sort of objective but it's not very clear as to what they're supposed to be doing as i was watching the video something popped up on this dude's screen saying your team collected the code and one of the boxes filled up so yeah that is the objective thing right there so i guess every team gets three objectives but what happens when you actually complete that does it actually end the game or something like a, not a whole lot to go on there it looks like they have some sort of pinging system which i think is pretty popular in uh battle royales it doesn't look like the teams can actually spawn back so if you lose someone on your team then i guess he's gone for good and he's just like watching you the game looks optimized at least from the little that we saw i wonder if it's possible to bring back one of your buddies because this dude completed something within a certain amount of time so can you bring friends back just curious i was looking at their q a and uh it actually says here how big their team is it says that nine to five is red hill's first game the company was founded in 2018 by matthias 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 milliron uh, i'm sorry dude i can't I don't know your name, sorry. <laughs> Milo's Jurabek, Katya, Dalgova, and Miko Wermo. I'm sorry, I'm sorry if I butchered all your names. I'm sorry. The founders and many others at Red Hill have worked together previously in big companies like Remedy, Wargaming, Bohemia Interactive. Those are some pretty big names, etc. A team of 45 and slowly growing. Well, that's a lot of people. Our main office is in Helsinki, Finland. Oh, so is that how there's a YouTuber buddy of mine? He said that uh he already played the game, and now it kind of makes sense because he lives in finland so and we have a smaller one in nicosia cyprus never heard of it in addition we have people working from home offices around the world fair enough the team is international with around 12 nationalities so far we are still small for a pc game company and we like to keep it very family-like of course this means that we don't always have the resources and perks of huge companies so we hope you understand and bear with us as we work hard to develop nine to five okay cool it's actually a decent sized team but cool According to this, they are going to have two servers set up, one in Europe and one in North America. Sorry for all the people that are down in Australia, I feel you. They are going to have two languages, English and Russian. It's interesting for a company that's based in Finland, they go with English and Russian. But anyways, here it says if they are going to be working with content creators at all. And they say here, we are definitely interested in talking with content creators and discussing potential partnerships and ways to collaborate in the future. If you are a content creator with a collaboration idea, or you are interested in doing something with 9to5 and Red Hill in the future, please send a message with a link to your channel. Thanks. I Maybe I'll do that. I don't know. Depends. It really depends on how this game plays. But uh, yeah, that's all I really wanted to talk about with this game. Uh, it... 
it's interesting. I'll definitely give it a shot, but I'm not impressed by what they showed here. I would really like to know what you guys thought, because I think I'm about to head out. If you're someone that enjoys the fact that I cover games like 9 to 5, then go ahead and comment down below, share and like the video. If you're someone that's new, subscribe and ding the bell. You never know, you might find something that you like on the channel. And if you're someone that would like to support the channel, check out my Patreon. Just send two bucks a month. It really helps. And with that all being said, I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch, and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.